I'm a very good role model for children. I'm a great teacher, and my students adore me, and I adore them. An Islamic civil rights group is now calling for an outside investigation into an HISD teacher and her controversial comments made outside the classroom. And she and her supporters are fighting back. Welcome to Eyewitness News Tonight. I'm Art Rascone. And I'm Melanie Lawson. You first heard from that teacher in an exclusive interview on Eyewitness News last week. Well, a lot has happened since that interview first aired. Yeah, including the fact that some of her students have been pulled from her class. Eyewitness News reporter Maya Shea live now with the new developments. Maya? Well, we're inside Tommy's garage. This is where the public access show is filmed, and this is where Angela Box first got a lot of attention. But today, we can tell you, HISD says it now has a teacher's aide in her classroom, though the teacher remains defiant. In the makeshift studio where the controversy first began, teacher Angela Box defended her public persona, as well as her life as a teacher. I have no problem where any child comes from. I have no child problem with any religion a child has, what color their skin is, because I actually see character and not skin color. Ever since her appearances on a conservative public access oh, show where she uses Barbie. profanity and other colorful language became public, Box has faced criticism. Last week, community activist Quanell X alleged Box used a racial slur to describe African Americans. And now the Council on American and Islamic Relations wants her role as a teacher investigated. It's bigotry and it's very disturbing to us as Muslims and as members of the Houston community. Some parents at Daly Elementary, where she teaches third grade, also voiced concerns. She needs to be reprimanded. I don't know if she should be fired and not be suspended. You know, if, if you do something, you should be held accountable. But today, Fox nor the host of the show, Tommy Atkins, are backing down. I think Quan X lied. He lied to the community. Box says even though several students have voluntarily pulled out of her own classroom, she intends to be both a teacher and voice her opinions away from school. I want this. I want this fight. I want this fight for people like me who are not afraid to stand up for themselves. In fact, Angela will be back here inside Tommy's garage tomorrow because they're taping another one of the public access shows. And she says she has every right to and intends to certainly voice her opinion. HISD says it's monitoring the situation, but for now she is not breaking any of their rules and regulations. And she sh is being allowed to continue her day job as a third grade teacher. We're live on the west side. Maya Shea, 13. Eyewitness News. Interesting debate. Thank you, Maya. And we would like to have you weigh in on this ongoing controversy. Do you think her opinions expressed outside of the classroom should put her job as a teacher in jeopardy? You can join the conversation by going on right now on the ABC 13 Facebook page. Well, a murder investigation under